Hey guys, it's Victoria from Global Free Meds. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about shadowing in a hospital. Make sure you click subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified when we release videos every week about doctor shadowing and global health. At Global Pre-Meds, we have helped thousands of pre-med and pre-health students gain experience with a global health perspective that helps them stand out from the crowd of other applicants. Shadowing is a critical part of getting into medical school or pursuing a career in healthcare. Many pre-med and pre-health students can feel intimidated about their first day going in to shadow a physician. So let's talk about ways you can be prepared and things you should know before shadowing in a hospital. Be prepared. Know some things about the doctor you're going to be shadowing. Do some research on their background, their medical education, their specialty. This helps you prepare and form better questions to ask on your shadowing hours, and it also makes you look good to your physician. Wear appropriate clothing. You will want to wear comfortable clothes, toes, shoes, and business attire. If you know you'll be shadowing surgeries in the operating room, you can confirm with your physician where you can find medical scrubs to change into. Be on time. Figure out where you can park if you're driving, how long it will take you to get there from your house, and if someone else is going to be driving you there. Making a good impression starts with being punctual every single day. Come a few minutes early to your shadowing time. Eat a light meal beforehand. If you will be shadowing for a long period of time and you're driving, you can keep some snacks in your car, but you may not wanna show up with a bunch of food to your first day without knowing where you'll be spending most of your day and the layout of the hospital. Be mindful of patient confidentiality. The physician you are shadowing will likely take you through all of these rules. It's just good to be aware that some patients may not be comfortable with having you in the room during their session with the doctor. It's up to them to give their consent for you to be there. They may speak with you, ask you some questions about your studies, and it's good to be polite and friendly with patients, but just remember that you are not a trained medical professional. Have you been able to shadow in a hospital and observe some medical cases? Let us know down below what kinds of things you were able to to experience. Going along with interacting with patients, you should always ask questions at the appropriate times. Bring a notebook and pen with you where you can write down some of the questions you might have beforehand and as you go through rounds. You do not want to interrupt the doctor when they are speaking with a patient, especially when it comes to sensitive medical information. Make sure you wait until a doctor is in between patients to ask some of these questions. Pay attention to other roles within the hospital. One of the benefits of shadowing in a healthcare facility like this is that you are able to observe other healthcare workers and see how they interact with doctors and some of their responsibilities. You never know which career might actually suit your interests better. Send a thank you note at the end of your shadowing hours. This is not only a kind gesture of gratitude to the person who spent so much time with you, but it's also just a professional thing to do. You wanna make sure that you continue to leave a good impression because you never know who might write a recommendation letter for you in the future. If you wanna learn more about how to shadow in a hospital, you can check the blog that is linked below, and you can also peruse our website for some more information about our programs. If you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on our weekly doctor shadowing and global health content. In the meantime, you can watch some of our other videos to learn more, and we will see you next time.